the long lost series has returned. I have a tier list today. So these are the blueprints I have collected for today. You can see we're gonna make them into a tier list. So it should be pretty, pretty good. And we're bringing back blueprint review. We, I only had one episode like literally a year ago and I have not done it since, so we're back. So our first blueprint today, um, let me pull it up for you guys. It is a train. So here is our terrain. How this is gonna work. We are gonna load up the blueprint and we're going to test it out. And then we are gonna go over to Photoshop here and then we can rank it. So we can put everything in a tier and you uh, you know, obviously F is gonna be the Pluto tier. Okay, so the description is, this is a working train that I worked on a month ago. The first and only stage activates the engine that can move the train. I recommend not operating this at high speed since the carts would decouple, only operate below 30 meters per second. This was submitted by Dat Dude Plays on the Discord. You have to be in the Discord to submit blueprints, discord.gg slash spaceship. Okay, the train is working. Okay, this is actually sick, whoa. I like the, there's a lot of detail added. Obviously this is blueprint edited, but it's still like, this is sick. I like how everything is just burning up. So you definitely need like pretty much every cheat for this to work. And he said that they would decouple. So they're actually like coupled on kind of how real train cars are. That's kind of cool. Chip Express, yeah. Here we go, we're on the Chip Express. I wanna see if we can get it above 30 to see what happens. I'm flooring it now, this is full throttle. Come on, I think once it gets a little faster, it's bouncing a little bit. Are these parachutes? Okay, I'm gonna open those parachutes once I get stuff to happen. It looks like it doesn't even wanna go faster. So it is well designed, like, oh, oh, <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> now it's taking off. Um, hurry, open the parachutes, open the parachutes. These are the uh, the slow down parachutes because it's going 70 meters per second now. This is really cool, actually. Wait, I wonder if we could, can we cut the parachutes after? Uh, maybe not. I was gonna see if I could launch it. Oh, parachute cut, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> I have no collision damage on, so nothing's gonna happen to it. It just bounces around. Okay, this is very impressive. Well done, um, who, did, who made it? Dat Dude Plays. I'm gonna try this one more time, but I'm gonna turn on no gravity because I wanna see what'll happen. If we have a no gravity train. So like if this was in space, what would happen to it? I just am trying to, I'm trying to turn it. I'm holding Q to try to rotate it. <laughs> now it's really a floating train. Oh, well, okay. It left the, the carts. Does it have, wait, does it have an engine shooting out of the front? I'm confused on how this works, but I am very happy with this train. Well done. It doesn't try to be anything that it's not. Like, it's supposed to be a train and it does exactly that perfectly. All right, guys, it looks like A tier is gonna win. So train is going to A tier, which I think is a very fair tier. That was a well-designed blueprint. Put it up here in A tier, congratulations. So that was one of the short blueprints. The other short ones we have are gonna be like the UFO, the battleship shell, and probably the alien ship. But then these are actual rockets that we can kind of do more stuff with. So next we have uh, Titanius Luna. This one was created by Jebediah Jenkins submitted on the Discord server. I thought this one looked really cool and it does, wow. The detail you can get, like, I don't even think this is blueprint edited. It doesn't look like it. Actually, I, no, it definitely is because it's got like these little ones turned out. Yeah, 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 okay. So the description for this one, all it says is it can go to the moon, I think. I picked it based off of looks and they said they think it can go to the moon. So we're gonna test that out and see if it can go to the moon. So I'm just gonna go for it and just do it how I would do a moon mission. Um, okay, that's kind of cool. Landing legs to, I think that's to attach the SRBs, like give it a, a look. That, oh. Bruh, bruh, <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to launch the whole tower. Um, <laughs> I think, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Revert to launch. Oh wait, 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 wait. Cheats, I still have every cheat on. I'm gonna turn every cheat off. If you submit a blueprint, make sure you say what cheats you need for the rocket to work. It had no gravity, so I think that's probably why the entire tower came with it. That, do I just have to spam it all? What? What? I'm just gonna spam all the stages really quick then to see what happens. Bruh, this doesn't even work. This cannot even make it off the launch pad. What do you mean it can make it to the moon, you think? Did they not stage everything? It's definitely, it, it's like breaking. Something's not working. 
break that and then what switch to okay i think we're getting it now then i don't know this doesn't even work just manually decouple from the tower okay we'll give it one more try i'm trying so hard i'm gonna manually try to kick it out of the tower those two maybe see and then it like switches to the tower for some reason i need to open these these legs oh 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 okay 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 this is the furthest we have gotten <laughs> I managed to get off of the launch pad. We're gonna see if this can make it to the moon now. Let's go, let's go. The hardest launch in history. Yeah, that's so real. It's definitely gonna lose some points for that. So we're getting into space. I'm gonna cut the engines there. So let's get a little higher and then we will start burning to orbit. Okay, um, let's see how these break off. Okay, not very well. Can I just destroy them now? Okay. See how this breaks off. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, well, it just broke itself. Uh, well, is there still an engine in here? Like, what? Okay, I don't know, man. Well, now we have a command pod. Okay, this looks cool, but, like, it likes to destroy itself. I guess we just go for the re-entry, because there's no way this is making it. Let's just do that. It's like taking the display rocket from the museum for a launch well, Yeah, it literally is exactly like that. It looks really cool, but it doesn't work very well. Hey, Chip, I'm still confused on how, how traffic takes place. Oh, well, <laughs> it just destroyed itself. It doesn't work. That was the simplest part is re-entry. Where do we think we should rank it? The rocket does look cool. I will say that, but it is not very functional. It kept trying to take off with the launch clamp. Once we finally got it, the SRBs didn't break off. The thing destroyed itself and it burned up, so. What's our vote at right now? F? <laughs> Most people are voting F tier. D is winning. I think that's fair because it's not F. F would mean like it looks bad and it doesn't do anything. But D is like, there's some, there's some good in it, which I mean, it looks cool. It looks like D is the winner. So the Titanius Luna earns a D tier. Next, we have the UFO 2. If you saw my first blueprint review video, we had a UFO and I think pretty sure Teddy Space made it and he also made this one. Here is the UFO and Teddy Space says, I remade the UFO I made for the original blueprint review a while ago and decided to post it. The cheats used are part clipping and no gravity. So we can turn those on. That'll help a lot because I remember on the first UFO, it liked to fall. So no gravity will help a lot with that. Oh, whoa, okay, that actually looks sick. I like the way, like, the RCS shoots out of it. This looks a lot better than the the first one I reviewed in the original Blueprint review video. I wanna see if I can get this going really fast, because I didn't turn on, there's still heat damage, so I wonder if I could get fast enough that it starts to take heat damage. This works and looks exactly like a UFO, which, I mean, that's all it's trying to do. So that's definitely gonna help with the points. Oh, I don't have infinite fuel. Wait, it's that's how much fuel it has that's impressive actually that it can do this without infinite fuel i think we need to go up more to get out of the thickness of the atmosphere look at that look how high it's like i mean we're on three times speed but still this is only rcs powered and not even infinite fuel it spins it spins <laughs> okay we used all the fuel <laughs> going to orbit with it Let's try, let's try. I need to restart. If this can make it to orbit, that's like definitely an S tier. Go 100 throttle. Ooh, maybe, I don't know. Drop in fuel pretty quick. Maybe, maybe actually, because we're gonna hit space right there. Oh, why does it, oh, it goes so much higher. I could have not used that much fuel. Oh, it's because I have no gravity. Wait, 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 restart. There's no gravity, so that's gonna make it so there can't be orbit because there's no gravity to orbit around. Let's see if I can get it up into space and then I will turn on gravity and see if we can get into orbit. Okay, so I actually just should not have to touch it and it'll go into space because there's no gravity. We might need infinite fuel to get it to the moon, but I mean, if we can even get it there, that's an achievement because it was definitely not designed for that. Okay, I'm gonna turn on infinite fuel, but then turn off no gravity and see if we can get it into orbit. Come on, UFO. I have to keep moving it so that the APs in front of us. Oh, it turns like crazy. I like this one a lot. I think this is a lot better than the first one I reviewed in episode one of Blueprint Review. Come on, make it to orbit. It's gonna make it. It's just gonna take a second. We have made it to low Earth orbit. That is amazing. Let's navigate to the moon really quick. Drain out fuel to like 2%. Oh, you're so smart, actually. Yeah, start using the fuel. And then once we get really low, then turn on infinite fuel so we're lighter. 
there the moon is. We have made it in our UFO. Oh, crash one by one vote. 52%. We will crash it. Let's just get our thing going down and then we will. We'll watch it in real time when it happens. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, there's the service, and here is the UFO crashing into the moon. Oh, oh okay. It's actually not completely destroyed yet. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. It was going to bounce and, like, do this whole thing. So now I say we just land this little section. Oh. Check this out. Suicide burn. Boom. Landed on the moon. Main review. What do we want to rank the UFO? Hostile, run the poll. S tier chat. Hey, I would be down for that. That was awesome. I really like that UFO design. Yeah, it does look like S tier is going to win the poll. Let's go. First S tier of Blueprint Review. The UFO 2 from Teddy Space. Let's go to our next one, which is Battleship Shell. This one was submitted by Astral on the Discord server. Let me get the blueprint. So the description for the Battleship Shell is, it's a Battleship Shell, nothing else. That is all that was said by Astral. This is it. Oh. I didn't know it would do that. I thought it wouldn't do anything. It looks like it uses the weird bug with the docking ports to shoot up. That's kind of cool though. I didn't think it would do anything. It is a bullet. I thought it was just gonna sit there. That's actually way cooler than I thought it was gonna be. S tier? I, I think so. Wait, 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 go back to launch. Cheats, okay. I have no cheats on. Well, infinite build error, but that doesn't matter. And it's still, yeah, look at that. It's just like a bullet. That's actually sick. So I wonder if, wait, go back to build. Like, hypothetically, if I had like a tower, right? And I wanted to launch this. Oh, I can't just do one. Like if I did this. So this is actually like well engineered. You can see all the little parts in there. Well, I think it'll stick to the. <laughs> but that is sick. That is so cool. Okay, I thought it was literally just going to be this. And I was still going to like. Be like, whoa, that's so cool. But it actually launches itself with no fuel. Make like five of them. Oh, you're so right. Oh, but they're not connected, you know? So I'd have to like manually launch each one unless I just go like this. But then they're going to be, uh, I don't think that'll work. I'm trying to think, how can I make them all launch together? Stage it? Yeah, but they're running on their own thing. Like, I don't think it'll work because each one's controlled separately. Because there's one but now I can't even see the other ones. It works, but I, I'm sure I could figure out a way to launch it and just connect them all together. Let's try that. Well, okay, that didn't work. I don't know how to do it. Is it these? Oh, okay, it's definitely those. So we can like control it, look at this. Whoa, make it spin. The battleship shell, which I only expected to just sit there and look cool. But it actually shoots itself, which is so cool. Let's put it in S tier. I agree with that. Next, we have this rocket here. So it's supposed to take an entire space station to orbit with a single stage. Let's see if it works. This one was submitted by Soppy. It already has the space station in here. It's got 1,800 tons of mass and 2,800 tons of thrust. Let's read the description. The cheats you need are no heat damage and infinite build area. The stages are correct. And as the title suggests, it can launch a small space station into orbit with a single stage. And it's got like this fin here, which is kind of cool. Let's see if this can br really bring an entire space station to orbit. I think that's okay. Let's try it. Oh, it's so loud. I'm turning it down for you guys. Okay, so the only cheat we're using is no heat damage because obviously it would burn up. But otherwise, it's using fuel and there's still all the other damage that you can get. No heat damage is a red flag. I mean, yeah, it's not like truly like vanilla no cheat, you know? But if it can bring an entire space station to orbit with one stage, that's still impressive. And then break, I don't know, cut there. And then start burning again when we get there. It's still 37%. So yeah, I think this will make it. Oh, and there we go. Reach low Earth orbit with still 15% fuel left. Okay, and then we will stage. And then I assume we undock. I'm gonna just clear debris to get those fairings out of the way. Wow, okay, and then we have this little station here. We can open up the solar panels, you know, with little engines. These are kind of cool. Do they actually work? Oh, they do, nice. And we have 
this blooper edited antenna, which kind of looks cool. That worked very well. Some of these, uh, like when you really can get into like blueprint editing and the editing stuff, you can make stuff look really cool. It just brought that whole thing to orbit with one stage. Well done, Soppy. I liked this one a lot. Let's deorbit it. I mean, we could see what happens. Warning, not re-entry compatible. Soppy says it won't survive, which I, I also don't think it will. We're gonna crash it in, just see what happens. I don't think it'll survive. There's like no way. It's not gonna burn up because we have no heat damage on, but I wanna see if any of it will survive when we hit the ground. Let's see if any of it will survive. Hey, hey, hey. We'll take it, we'll take it. It didn't die, which honestly, that's kind of impressive. This space station single stage to orbit gets an A tier. Well done. We have three more to go. I'm excited for this one a lot. The Zeltrion K. The Zeltrion K is supposed to be a really cool rocket. So the description for this one says partially reusable 80 by 4.88 meter rocket can deliver up to 55 60 tons to orbit in realistic mode. So this one's actually built from a realistic mode. So I'm gonna switch over really quick because I wanna give this like the best chance that it can at like working how it's supposed to, you know? If you've seen my realistic mode videos, realistic mode is so hard. It is insanely hard to get stuff done. Like my moon landing was incredible. That's one of the hardest things I've done in this game is try to just do a moon landing in realistic mode. Here we go. I think I'm not gonna put anything in it. I'm just gonna launch it how it is and see if it can get into orbit in realistic mode because that already is a really hard thing to do. Oh, look, it's even got, it didn't show this in the, in the, the VAB. It's got like actual detail added to it. Like, check that out. That is so cool. Okay, right now it's definitely looking at S tier, but if this works. Okay, launch. I don't know how to make it work. I'm just gonna do what I think will work. This is going really well so far. Be careful with the staging. So move the stage separation staging under the legs. Oh, this one? Oh, is it not stage right? Like this, you said? Is that correct? Yes, okay. I think we're doing good now. Oh, this is taking so long. I forgot we're in realistic mode. Look how, like, how much bigger the Earth is. It's kind of crazy. It said partially reusable, so I think it's supposed to be, like, kind of like a space shuttle type thing where you bring stuff to orbit. The booster is reusable like SpaceX, I see. Okay, go up a little higher. Let's see how the stage goes. Oh, wow. Okay. Everything broke off. So it like dropped that whole thing. I think I might have start, should have started burning earlier. I forgot how hard realistic mode is to get into orbit, the way you have to angle everything. Shut down engines once the speed is at 3,500. Okay. Wait, why shut down engines? Shut down the engines. Why? It's not in orbit. What? I'm so confused. I miscalculated my bad. Wait, I'm so confused on how this is working. Is this supposed to be then you break off this and then that's your payload and send that to orbit? I'm confused too. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Is it you send it this high and then your payload goes the rest of the way? No, I meant the first stage spaceship. Sorry. Oh, we can go back. Almost there. Almost there. And yes, made it to orbit with still 15% left. Nice. Okay, so it does make it to orbit. In realistic mode, that is really hard to do. Run the poll hostile. What are we voting? 67% on S tier. Okay, I agree with that. The Zeltrion K is a beautiful rocket, performed well. S tier. Nice, well done. We got two blueprints left today. We got the Tekka rocket. This one was made by Solar Flare, who also makes space flight simulator videos on YouTube. The description is, this rocket can go to Mars while carrying payloads of up to 200-ish tons. Let's see if we can make it to Mars with the Tekka rocket today. Okay, wait, this actually looks really cool. Check all this stuff out. Whoa, it's like a whole habitation thing for Mars. So let's see if we can take it to Mars. Oh yeah, look, check it out. Tech a rocket, really cool. Let's see if it works. Oh, they're all so loud. Boom, okay, made it to low earth orbit. Um, so I guess we don't need any other cheats, which is kind of nice. Um, we're gonna have to wait for a transfer window. Oh, there's no RCS. How am I supposed to position this? I like to have RCS to get these maneuvers done. Okay, we have an encounter. Like, how am I supposed to position the encounter without RCS? Oh, I do have RCS. Okay, right there, perfect. Let's time warp. We're going to Mars! And this has a little whole like habitation thing in it, which is kind of cool. And we will start slowing down to get to orbit and we will try to land it on Mars. Oh, okay, well we're out of fuel. Let's see how this is supposed to work. I think I might've done this badly. 
Okay, well, my entire game just froze. Uh, I probably should have suicide burned. Can I revert? Oh boy, did I crash the game? Like what? I've never had it lag this much. Oh boy, only 2% left. Just break with the, uh, just like crash in with these. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, don't break, don't break. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, just wait for it to stop moving and then break this off. I think we got it. Okay, then we can kind of do all this stuff manually. So I should be able to rotate some of these. Well, okay, well, there's our <laughs> there's our colony. I don't think any of them have any RCS or anything, so I can't really move them. But there we go. There's our colony. I think if I performed the mission better, I could have got these standing up how they're supposed to. That's my bad. The rocket definitely was capable. We got 85 votes for B. Okay, guys, B is going to win. There we go. First B of the stream. Our last blueprint of blueprint review today is going to be an alien ship. This was submitted by Pear Dude. The description says it can also be used as a jail if you remove the Titan engines. All right, here it is. So it's an alien ship. I don't really know what the goal is. Nothing is staged. So I wonder if I stage these Titan engines. We're probably going to want no heat damage and infinite fuel. Um, let's try it. Engine on, engine on. I have no heat damage, so those should be fine. Yeah, okay, so it's like that UFO, but just bigger, I think. Um, and it's definitely designed to go a lot quicker because it's not built off RCS. <laughs> it does kind of look like a jail with the bars like that. Um, it's turning by itself. That is not me turning it. I'm actually trying to go the other way. I think it's too heavy on the right because of the way the fuel tanks are. I'm holding left. I'm trying to turn it to the left. Is it like a habitation module for Mars? <laughs> okay, um, it's, I don't know what it is. That's it. What do you guys think? <laughs> We'll run the poll. <laughs> 50 votes. I turned on you can vote more if you use chips. And we got 58 votes for F tier. I am so sorry. Who made this? Pear dude. I'm sorry, Pear dude. The votes are actually split between A and F. A1? No way. Who spent all their chips on that? Someone spent all of their chips. I already know to get this to A tier when F was definitely more popular. No Pluto tiers this episode. Thank you all for coming to Blueprint Review. Here's the final tier list. If you want to submit a blueprint, make sure in the Discord server and make sure you follow all the submission guidelines, which are you need a picture, you need a link, and you need instructions on how to make your thing work. From now on, we will do Blueprint Review once a week.